This icy mountain path seems to go on forever. We've walked a long way here. Mudkip looks exhausted too. We've been running all this time out of desperation. What's in store for us ahead? Are we really doing the right thing? Er, this is too cold. There's nothing but snow now. The scenery's been the same for a while. I wonder if we're really making progress. Hey, Cinequil, I was thinking. I think we've come to a place that's empty except for us. I have this feeling there's nothing ahead of here, even if we keep moving. And I'm getting exhausted. We too... What's going to happen to us? To be honest, Mudkip... I really don't know. I'm sorry. I said something stupid to frighten you. There isn't any point in wondering about what might happen, not after coming this far. Even though we don't know what's ahead, we'll only know by pressing on. Don't worry, there's gotta be something ahead. I have faith in you, Cinequil. That's what brought me here. And that's not changing. I still have faith in you, Cinequil. I'll keep going wherever you go. Yes. Mudkip trusts me without any doubt. I can't afford to be indecisive. I have to believe in myself more. <gasps> what? What was that? <gasps> D dizzy? Or what? Huh? Is something wrong? Cinequil? Finally. Finally you have arrived. Someone... someone is talking to me. Mudkip? No, this voice isn't Mudkip. This voice... I've heard it somewhere. Finally, you have arrived. I've been waiting for you. G Gardevoir! I am so glad. Finally, we get to meet. Your... what? Cynical, is something the matter? Why are you talking to yourself? Huh? But don't you see... I cannot be seen by others. I am visible only to you. A little farther ahead, there is a jagged mountain range topped by Mount Freeze. Inside its peak, Ninetales lives. Ninetales? Ninetales awaits your arrival. Beware. Wait! Oh. Hey, Cinequil! Cinequil! What's the matter? What happened? Oh, so something like that happened. Gardevoir appeared to you. And that's why you were looking so stunned earlier. I'm amazed though. Ninetales isn't just a legend. It really exists. And that Ninetales is up at the peak. <laughs> Cinequil. All the effort we put into getting here, it's finally gonna bear fruit. We'll meet Ninetales and get the truth. We'll finally get rid of the suspicions others have about you, Cinequil. Awesome! Listen, Cinequil. Don't be so worried. It'll be alright. It's only natural that you would be scared of meeting Ninetales, Cinequil. The heartless human who abandoned Gardevoir? It may be you. I can understand how you could think that. But that's impossible. You're not that human, I'm sure. But Mudkip, how could you say that? Why do you believe in me so much? Hmm? Well, there was a time when I had some doubts. But now? I wonder why. 
I really don't know why. But it's alright. Cyndaquil, you're a really good sort. You know, before, when I first got the idea to start a rescue team, I met you in the tiny woods, Cyndaquil. Now that I think about it, there was something different about you. It is strange, isn't it? But Cyndaquil, I believe in you. Anyway, we'll know the truth when we get to the peak. Cyndaquil, let's do our best. There's truly no one else like you, Mudkip. Hi, Cyndaquil. Are you ready? All set. Which way should we go? The snow path only leads in a complete circle. It's only good for experience. If we ever want to reach Nine Tails, we're gonna have to scale Mount Freeze. It's finally time. Let's do this. Okay, let's go. Let's do our best to reach the peak. At long last, we made it to Mount Freeze, the place where the fabled Nine Tails was said to reside. Chills were racing through my entire body, and not just because of the freezing environment. I had no idea how this was all going to turn out. Gardevoir's words were more than ominous, and certainly didn't relieve me of any of my doubts or concerns. If it turns out that I am the human in the legend, then that's it. It's all over. And after we came all this way, we tried to explain all of this to our new friend Absol. They seem to be in support of us, though I can't exactly say why. Absol can apparently sense when disasters are going to occur, whether it be from a natural occurrence or caused deliberately by someone with cynical intentions. Absol sensed no hostility from me, so they were willing to believe that I wasn't the human from that legend. And just like that, we had a new and powerful ally. Absol was incredibly strong. Having a dark type Pokemon really helped out in battle. They made quick work of any fight we got caught in. Mudkip and I certainly felt a lot safer with them by our side. But who's to say if they'd be strong enough to stand up to Alakazam's team if we ever end up running into them? I hope we don't have to find out. Absol was a very serious Pokemon. Not really one for conversation, but they did open up to us a little bit about who they were and where they came from. Apparently, there are some Pokemon out there who think Absol causes natural disasters rather than being able to sense them. Absol's presence in the area whenever disaster strikes is what causes some to believe that they're the ones to blame, when in reality, Absol is the one trying to save those who are in the area. It's really sad when you think about it. Maybe they don't have any friends or home to return to. Perhaps that's why they wanted to join us, because we're all outcasts who were feared by the Pokemon around us. It shouldn't have to be that way. Absol isn't scary, not because of what they look like, or how they talk, or even by where they came from. They're just another Pokemon dwelling in the same space as everyone else. Perhaps that's true about me as well. Maybe one day, I can once again know what it feels like to be safe within my own skin, to be surrounded by those who accept me for who I am, not to be feared for how I look or where I came from. That's all I could ever really hope for at this point. Safety and acceptance is an irreplaceable treasure. I'd do anything to have that in my life again. Which is why we came all the way out here. We're on a quest to reclaim our place in this world. To regain the family we had lost. To discover the truth as to who I am. And even if it turns out that I am the cursed human, and my life comes to an end soon after, at least I'll be alongside an irreplaceable friend until the very end. We finally arrived. This is the summit, isn't it? I wonder where Nine Tails is. There they are. I've spotted Cyndaquil. All right, I see them. Uh, Alakazam! It's about time we finally caught up to you. 
for Fugitive Act dragged us all the way out here. Pipe down, Tyranitar. We can finally settle things here. I can barely contain myself. I'm itching for a fight. Mudkip, don't think badly of me. I don't know how to show mercy. Cyndaquil, I didn't wish for this conclusion, but this too is fate. The role of a rescue team is to help bring peace. We will crush you with every shred of our power. Get them! No, this can't be happening. After everything we went through, we were so close. Cease this at once. Uh. Nine tails. What? Nine tails? Th that's nine tails. The legend. It was real. Cease fighting at once, Alakazam. They are my guests. Tell us, Nine Tails. Who was the human that appeared in your legend? No, even before that, was the legend itself a true event? Depending on your reply, I may have no choice but to eliminate them. Whether they consider my curse to be a legend or not, I care not. However, it did happen. Many years ago, I tried to lay a curse on a human. It was then, however, that Gardevoir, the human's partner, dashed in. It selfishly bore the full brunt of the curse meant for the human. Then the human did a selfish and cowardly thing. They abandoned Gardevoir and fled. The human eventually became a Pokémon. Transformed into a Pokémon, the human... the human lives on. And that human would be... Who is the human that you speak of? Jeffrey. You may relax. It is not you. <gasps> Just now... What did you say? Jeffrey is not the human that appears in the legend. That is what I said. What? What's happening to me? I'm too tensed up to move. Oof. Oof. Deep breaths. In, out, in, out, in, out. <sighs> Oh, wow, fantastic! I can't believe it. That's great! I knew that Cinequil wasn't involved. I knew it. There's no way that Cinequil would do those terrible things. I have another thing to say. It is true that I foretold of the world's balance becoming unstable. However, that human becoming a Pokémon and the world's balance are not linked in any way. The cause of the natural calamities, it exists elsewhere. Hey you, you were wrong. You were wrong to hound and harass Cinequil. Uh, uh, we, uh, apologize. We're sorry, we got worked up by that Gengar. No! I suspected Gengar right from the start. Cyndaquil just doesn't look like the treacherous type. <laughs> if only that were true. But I must say, you are to be commended for prevailing through this cruel journey and discovering the truth. Impressive, Cyndaquil. <laughs> Excellent. I knew I was right. Huh? Oh, but wait, then why did Cyndaquil turn into a Pokemon? I understand that Cyndaquil isn't the human from the legend. Then how do you explain Cyndaquil becoming a Pokemon? Cyndaquil, who are you? Wah! The ground's heaving! Qu quake The world's crust is shifting. The natural calamities are worsening. And 
the shifting of the ground. It will awaken the beast that embodies the ground, the beast that slept deep underground. Groundon will be awakened. What? Groudon is rising? Groudon? What is that? What's a Groudon? A legendary Pokémon that has been spoken of only in myths. It is the Pokémon that raised the land masses and created continents. It is said to have taken to sleep after catastrophic battles with its archenemy Kyogre. If Groudon were to get loose, there would be chaos. It must be stopped. We will go. We'll go too. No, you must remain behind. Groudon is far more powerful than any Pokémon you have faced. Leave it to us. That's how it goes. You go back to your rescue team base for a well-earned rest. Don't worry about us. We didn't get our gold rank the easy way. We'll get the job done. We'll be back before you know it. Fine. We're off to quell Groudon.